Hey there XP Gamers, this is Altaren and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Today I'm going to show you how to install mods into your Minecraft. It was a request that I saw pop up, so I thought I'd go ahead and do this and hopefully make everyone's lives easier when it comes to getting those awesome mods off of the Minecraft forums and putting them in your game and getting to enjoy all of the awesomeness that they are. Now, starting off here you'll see the generic little our everyday vanilla Minecraft scene and we're gonna change that cuz pay attention notice the buttons cuz it's gonna be different here in about you know two or three minutes now to start off I will tell you that in order to do this you're going to need WinRAR and there will be a link in the description below for you to get that and I'm gonna show you how to install Minecraft Forge and then using Forge you can install a whole slew of other mods that will enhance your game or destroy it depending on which way you want to go about that. Now to start off you're going to want to go to your start button go to whatever your username is, mine is Alteran, and you should see a folder called app data. If you do not see this folder then that means you do not have hidden folders turned on. In order to do that you have to go into your control panel go into appearance and personalization and down here by folder options you will see show hidden files and folders when you click on this a menu pops up and there will be two choices for hidden fo files and folders you want show hidden files and then OK X out of that now in app data there are three folders you want to go to the one that says roaming and in that <laughs> selection of folders is the one at the top which is dot minecraft you click on that and from there you want to go into your bin folder and you're looking for a file called the minecraft.jar which is this one right here <clears throat> now you want to go ahead and you'll open this up and you'll open it with WinRAR don't try and open it with a Java platform it's just going to give you an error and tell you that you aren't allowed to use it and once you have that opened up you're going to want to go over here to where you have your minecraft forge and there's a link in the description to Minecraft Forge the latest version as of right now and make sure you get the latest version because that's a big deal you want the latest version for whatever Minecraft version you're running and right now it's at 1.5.2 which is the version that I have right here and you'll open that up now you're gonna want to copy and paste all of the files that were in this folder the Minecraft Forge folder copy and paste them all right on over into your minecraft.jar oh just kidding just kidding yeah copy paste <laughs> everybody's happy everything's good blah 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 and done now once you've done the copy and paste from minecraft forward you're gonna go to the meta inf folder and the files that say Mojang, delete them. Like so. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. Now this will allow Forge to work properly. And once all that's done, if you go ahead, don't install any mods yet. Once you've done this part for Minecraft Forge, instead, open your Minecraft game. Do do do. Log in. And you see it says FML setting up your Minecraft environment. Forge Mod Loader is downloading all the libraries that it needs in order to function correctly and you want to do that first before you put any mods and try and install any mods because you're going to need all these libraries before you can do anything else. And if you wait just a moment as it continues to load now as you can see we have single player multiplayer with a new option underneath called mods and over here on the corner you'll see minecraft version your mcp version your forge mod loader version minecraft forge and it tells you that you have three mods loaded and that three of your mods are active now if you click on the mods button it gives you a list over here minecraft coder pack forge mod loader and minecraft forge and when you click on them it'll give you a little description now that you've done all that, you can quit your game. X out of that. And now back into our .minecraft folder in our bin. If we go back to .minecraft, you'll see there's a folder known as mods. Now all you have to do 
and this is dependent on the particular mod that you're looking at. If you're on the Minecraft forums, most of them will tell you beforehand that you need Minecraft Forge installed in order to run their particular mod. That being the case, all you will have to do once you download their file is drag and drop into, like if I want to play with Magic Diamonds, all I do is drag and drop Magic Diamonds into my mods folder and now when I start Minecraft again, Magic Diamonds is already installed and ready for me to play with. Very simple, very easy to do, super easy, and once Minecraft Forge is installed, it's super simple. It's Minecraft Forge is probably the easiest way to put mods into your game. It takes care of any kind of conflicts that might occur between them as far as ID numbers between items. It's the best way to get mods installed on your game, and it's a saver of a headache. Prevents headaches, all the headaches, none of them are required when you're using Minecraft Forge. And if you run across a mod that says it needs mod loader, that will work with this as well because Forge has mod loader built into it so you won't have to try and install mod loader separately. And it really is just that simple. Now if you run across a mod, an example would be Optifine that does not use Forge to install with, all you have to do is follow the same process that we did to install Minecraft Forge. You would open up the RAR file, copy and paste all of these files into your Minecraft.jar, and then Optifine will also be installed. And Optifine is something that I suggest everybody get, because it's a very handy graphical mod to enhance your process and all the awesome things you can do with Minecraft. It really gives you a stronger graphical interface to play with, tons more graphic options, all that good stuff. But that is how you install mods to Minecraft. Simple, easy, save you some time, save you some headache, and it gives you the opportunity to enjoy all the great mods that are out there right now. With that being said, support your modders. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.